All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your quick update for the wild weather that we will be seeing this week because we've already got possible tornadoes on the ground near Chapel Hill, Georgia. Seek shelter now, just in case. And thanks again to Brady. You always do a great job, buddy. Here's a look at today's possible danger zone. You've got the highest risk over through here, but the tornado area we would be watching would be through here. I mean, both areas have a chance to spin up tornadoes, I would guess. Read Timmer, Storm Chase Mode. Today, we'll have to focus both targets on my target east area. Okay, into the Ozarks. But also, a distant tornado threat at my mom's place, an update upstate South Carolina, where his super cool dog Gizmo is located. These events always produce out there. Stay tuned to everyone. Tornadoes ripped through parts of Mississippi yesterday, destroying multiple businesses and doing quite a bit of damage. And so we want to pay attention to the severe weather today. And we've got a pretty big severe weather area up for tomorrow. And so we've seen some pretty nasty storms lately. So the next 48 hours are going to be pretty dang wild. That would be my guess. That would be my estimate. And I have a guess that to the middle of May through like June is probably going to be really, really wet and rainy. And just overall, yesterday seemed like a really weird day across the board. We're just, I don't know, the energy was off. Every, like lots of people seemed angry in a lot of places. And most of the time, people match the energy. Like when the sun acts weird, weather acts weird, and then people act weird. And it seems like a really bad time to take out your own unhappiness on other people. But, you know, a sea lion isn't going to change his spots. Wait, does a sea lion even have spots? Anywho, we're looking at weather. Yeah, we're definitely getting May snow. Who knows? We might even get June snow. And we're going to get some pretty weird wild weather through the areas. The volcano situation is still pretty crazy. And we'll probably continue to get crazier. The sun is still active. Old region 2817 is currently transiting the far side of the sun, and it appears to be active. An eruption was captured today, Sunday, by the stereo ahead spacecraft. A coronal mass ejection is now becoming visible. Because this took place on the far side of the sun, it will not be directed towards Earth. The region is due to turn back into view starting in about five days. And as we had our three sunspot complex turn off from Earth-facing, we now have one, at least probably two sunspots that are about to start facing us again. And so the sun starts to slowly wake up. Happy Boxing Day to our friends over the pond. And they seem to getting, be getting blasted with a pretty big low area of rain and stuff. Henry Mergesidio wishing everybody a happy weather Monday. Cover your cars. It looks like hail and tornadoes today. And so definitely try to stay out of the hail. And if you got a fancy car that impresses the Ladies or the dudes, you want to keep it covered during the danger hail zones times. A slow coronal mass ejection was seen by Lasco in the direction of 10 o'clock until it was caught by a faster coronal mass ejection, which was a big eruption from 50 degrees behind the limb. All right. Look at that. Bang. Bang. Boom. Smack daddy. Well, smack mama. Uh, I don't know. It's like I forgot how to talk. It's okay. Hopefully I'll relearn. One of these days, life's, it's peaks and valleys. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Volcano Discovery is letting us know the Fagarahatshavol volcano is pulsating taller than usual lava fountains. So it is getting stronger as it pushes lava out of its fissure vents. And in good news for a large portion of the East Coast, but bad news for Nova Scotia, I would guess, I would guess that Atmospheric Defense Team, Prayer Warriors, God, I don't know, Astro Fight Club, you name it, has pushed the big wet nor'easter a lot farther to the east, so it wouldn't smack dab right around here, it would more smack dab up here, and it still has some snow in it, so we can't call it a nor'easter, but that is subject to change, so I'll keep you guys posted, and we have red flag warnings, so be on the, and fire, watch, fire weather watches. So be on the lookout. Everybody agrees. It's probably going to be a really nasty fire season. Yo. All right. I got like 20 hours left in my monthly Thor News fundraiser, which I don't know, this could be the weirdest fundraiser ever. And that's saying a lot. Anywho, if the 
best way to go is stale mail. And I do this every month. I don't know. People are yelling at me all the time now this week. I don't know why. Anywho, but uh, I've been experimenting and two people helped me. And so I, I, it worked. My, my PayPal will work if I reset the password every half hour. If that, if that, if I do that, that I stay ahead of whoever. And so if you would like to contribute to help Thor News keep me up and running, I will be resetting my password every half hour today in the hopes. But the very clearest way to support, and you know that it will get there, is through the good old-fashioned U.S. Postal Service. So I have a T. Lewis in 5430, Birdwood Road, number 416, Houston, Texas, 77096. And if you do send in a contribution, and you can email me and let me know, and hopefully I can get that and then respond to you either way. That's how earlier someone said, I sent you something through PayPal. Did you get it? I said, no, I did not. And then I reset my password. And then they sent it again, and then it worked. And so, I, I don't know, I've only got $1,420 left to raise. But I have a feeling I'm going to make rent because I don't know someone said they sent me a check, so I should be able to make it. We'll see, though. I'm pretty sure. We'll find out. But I've only got $1,420 left to raise for $1,777 goal. And thank you to Redacted D from FBD, Mona, Ann, Jason, Andrea, James, Margaret. And let me apologize. I'm sorry that my life is so high maintenance, but these are definitely weird times, bro. But I would like to do my best to continue doing what I do and what I've been doing for eight years and to help, you know, cover hurricane season for you guys because I'm really good at it. Anyway, everybody have a great day. I love y'all. And no matter what, just if just try to be cool, people. I don't know. Okay? I love y'all. Uh, God bless everyone. And definitely be on the lookout for uh, hail and tornadoes if you're in the south. Okay? Cool.